Hello, welcome to Scott Bryant's Fitness Systems. Thank you for clicking on the video. This video is all about why 95% uh, of personal trainers, check practitioners, and coaches fail with their businesses. If you're watching on Instagram, please go to my YouTube channel, Scott Bryant's Fitness Systems, and you can watch the whole of the video there. So the reason why 95% of check practitioners and personal trainers fail is because we're in a saturated market. There's over 14,000 trainers in the UK, trainers, coaches, and there's probably maybe just under 500 check practitioners in the UK. Now, unfortunately, to become elitist of what you want to be doing, you've got to have a big marketing budget, you've got to be doing something that everybody wants and make a name for yourself. And to be able to make a name for yourself will cost you a huge amount of money. And this is why many personal trainers and check practitioners fail. Many of them don't have good websites that they don't update on a regular basis. Many of them have not written their own books like I have, Holistic Health for Proper Geezers, Classy Ladies, Get the Body and Fitness You Want Now. And many of them don't really love what they do. So obviously I love what I do. I've been doing it for 21 years and I never want to stop. I still want to be doing this like my other friend that's in his 70s and he's still training people, which I highly, I highly respect and I think it's amazing. So it's really important if you're coming into the fitness industry or you're coming to be a check practitioner, then you've got to remember it's a saturated market. So you've got to have something unique, new or something old that you can be consistent with and you can sell really, really well. Uh, and because it's uh, a, a saturated market, for you to get a salary of 50, 60, 70 to 100 grand a year is going to be very, very hard. Now, I've seen trainers say, oh, they're working with 400 clients a week. You haven't got 400 hours a week to work with clients, so that's all bullshit, in my opinion. So the, the real way to become successful is have your rates as high as you can. And the higher your rate is, the less you have to work or the more you can earn. So you can either do it so you have more of a better lifestyle or you can work yourself into the grave early or you could uh, keep your salary mediocre so you don't have to work so hard. Or you could just do group training and charge £20 an hour or £10 an hour over the park, work with 200 clients, you might injure five of them, one of them might sue you later on uh, because they realise you've not done any assessments or any real good programme design which may ruin your business. And because of the pandemic now, a lot of people don't want to work one-to-one, -one. they want to do it online, but even that might be a bit of a fallacy. I, I Google researched how many times online personal trainer is searched for in in Google, it's 20 times a month. So if there's 14,000 trainers 20 times a month and only 1% of them are doing uh, online personal training, you work out the figures, you can see it's not going to work. So it's a very confused market. Do you go into corrective exercise? Do you go into back pain? Do you go into sports-specific training? All the trainers, if you look at many of their websites, are all saying the same stuff, but they're not all qualified to that level. So to be uh, you know, a corrective holistic exercise specialist with the Czech Institute, you've got to go all the way to the end till you reach level four, not say you're doing it on level two and not say you're doing it on level one, which many of the trainers do, then they give up and they stop. And many trainers get lazy as in, oh, I've done enough courses and they've done one course. And they think that they know everything when they know jack shit, in my opinion. But if you're a motivated trainer and you're really into push yourself and you're really into to work hard and to do the right types of courses, then really, you know, becoming a physio or an osteopath could be a great way to go down. And I know physios and I know osteopaths that have done the check program and they're still finding it hard to get work because it's a saturated market. OK, it's not because of their knowledge. It's not because of their marketing. It's because it's a saturated market. You may say you're one hundred and fifty pounds an hour, but the other physio might say he's 20 pounds an hour. And because many people, some people go on price and other people don't. Can you see where it can be conflicting and how your business can go up and down? 
to too many courses out there. You know, if you want to be a doctor, you've got to do a doctor's degree. If you want to be a physio, you've got to do a physio degree, which is three years. But if you want to be a personal trainer, you can do a course for three weeks, one week or, or five years. It's entirely up to you. But really, you really need to think about the way that you want to go and how you want to market your business if you still want to be working in 21 years' time like myself. And many other elite trainers that I know that have been working clients out for 21 years. Many, 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 many trainers have quit and given up really early just as they're starting to make it or they just feel, look, I can't pay my mortgage. I can't have the car that I want. I can't do the things that I really want because of it's a saturated market and it is there's lots of many uh, rip off things like uh, national register of personal trainers has closed down that was going for 15 years but you paid 140 pounds you was on their website no fucker looked at it nobody would check you out on there so you was paying 140 years uh, 140 pounds and go with it in fresh air so you really got to think about these rip-off things. There's another thing called the Register of Ex uh, the Personal Trainer Register, the NLPT. I've been a member of it a few times. All I got was spam inquiries. No decent inquiries from clients. So I stopped paying £140 a year and put it more into my own marketing. So that's what you need to do is to find out what works for you. The next thing is, is cheap gyms. If you're working in a gym and the membership is £23 a month, do you think you're going to get a £150 an hour client? Or even a £25 an hour client? I don't think so. So you need to set yourself up in, a, uh, in an expensive gym. The other thing is, is uh, you can do business skills courses, but it doesn't make you a business person. You're either good at it or you're not good at it. So I've had a client say to me once, like, so to sign up with me is £5,000. And he said to me, I'm not willing to pay you £5,000 up front, but I'm willing to pay you £150 every time I see you three times a week. So anyone that's not flexible would go, no, I'm not doing it because I want the five grand up front. I said to him, OK, let's do that. We work six months together. I got £15,000 from this client. So you need to be really business minded and courses don't really teach you that. The only way you learn this is by uh, making mistakes and I made a lot of mistakes. Uh, I've, my business has gone up and down, up and down, up and down. But business is like that. You see all these, you know, John Lewis and other big businesses closing down because they didn't flow with the wind. They just said that they knew the most. So they wasn't going to be flexible and change their business model so they end up going bust or they close it down. There's seven trainers I know that have gone bust or closed down simply because they didn't flow. They didn't do the things that I would have done if I had my own establishment. And I got told by a very, very well successful person, don't go big, keep small. Rent a gym where you pay a rental every time you see a client. Don't pay a rental when you ain't got no clients and don't pay a rental when you're on holiday. So a real close friend of mine, he's realised this. He's working in a gym where he pays a, a monthly rental, but he's making so much money now because he'd been in the, the position of having his own gym and working himself to the bone. Now he just pays a rent. As long as his client base is high, he's still making a profit. And really doing what you love. So if you do what you love, you will put effort into reading the books or writing your own book, Holistic Health for Proper Geezers, Classy Ladies, Get the Body and Fitness You Want. Or you will go all the way like I did with Czech Practitioner Level 4 Master. Now, the Czech system is hands down, it's amazing. The stuff that you'll learn will blow your mind. But it will blow your bank balance as well. So that's what you've got to remember is that have you got the, the revenue, the $300 or the $500 a month to pay for the check system for a minimum of three years? It's a lot of money to pay out if you've got mortgage, baby, car and all these other expenses on the hoping that you're going to get high paying clients. On the hoping. They sell it on the website that you can charge uh, 100 to £250 an hour. Now to get them 100 to £250 an hour clients is hard. It's not easy. So don't go in there 
with blinkers on your mind thinking that you're going to get uh, 100 to 250 pound an hour clients because you're a Czech practitioner level four. It doesn't work like that. I know another trainer that was charging, what was he charging? Uh, 200 pounds an hour. He had no Czech qualifications at all. All he had was basic personal training. And when you see him train, you could see that his knowledge was very, very low, but he had the balls to charge 200 pounds an hour. So really, really think about that. And if, I hope you've watched to the end, 10 minutes. So here's the free deal. I'm now offering free mentoring to 10 personal trainers or check practitioners uh, once a week to help you grow your business and to improve your business. And all I ask for is a nice review on my book or a review once I've helped you make more money on my website. So thank you very much. I hope you've listened to this. Please disagree. Please comment down below if you think it was all crap that I was talking about. But remember, I've got 21 years of experience of going up and down and uh, been all the way, done many personal training uh, educational courses and done all the Czech stuff as well. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I really enjoy helping as many PTs as I can. So if you've got any questions, please post them below. I answer any questions that I get and please press that bell icon and please press the subscribe button. Thanks very much. Have a wonderful weekend and I'll be uploading five videos next week. Thanks very much. Bye bye.